hello and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to make the the cavity and extract the core from from a part that you want to mold. Now first we need to ensure that you have the mold tools in your command manager. So go up here with the mouse and right click and click mold tools. Go to mold tools. Then we uh, we need to scale the part because as the, the plastic get molded, it it shrinks. So click scale, and let's say we will make this of uh, ABS plastic. We have to uh, type in 1.006, which is equal to 0.6 percent of of shrinkage. So click OK to this. Now let's make a draft analysis to to check if our draft angles are correct. I have chosen uh, draft angles of 0.5 degrees for for this part. So choose this surface for uh, the direction of pull, and uh, it turns to some other colors. You can see outside all the faces are, are green, which is good. It's positive draft, and inside they're all red, which is negative draft. We have no yellow ones, which is good because then we would need to add some draft. So this is okay. Just exit this one. Now go to. Um, go to parting line like this first you need to select the pull direction which is this one click this face and make sure the draft angle is is set to be correct now click draft analysis it says that the parting line is complete but we may need to create some shut off surfaces so um, just click OK now go to shut off surfaces and then you choose this one by itself which is good and it says uh, the mold separable into core and cavity so you click OK for this one now click parting surfaces to make the parting surface it makes this one right here we want it to be the other way so click the arrow to reverse the offset direction like this make it a little bigger like 3 millimeters for instance like this and then click OK now we uh, we want to make the tooling split so click tooling split right here and choose the top plane and make a sketch like this for the the cavities exit the sketch tool right click and click fully defined sketch and click OK so we have the sketch fully defined which is good and now you just exit the sketch and it comes up with this and it it looks it looks alright to me so I click OK but remember to check the interlock surface and 3 degrees that's that's fine click OK like this now we can move them apart to see how it looks so go to insert surface and move copy click on this cavity and we can move it up in the Y axis like let's say 15 millimeters for instance like this now let's hide this one right click hide and right click and hide and let's hide the the parting surface as well and the shut off surface like this so that looks good now we need to extract the core from from the cavity so click on core like this and select this face to sketch on, select the circle, sketch a circle with the center and the origin, exit the sketch tool, click on the circle again, and I want the circle to be equal to this dimension, so control click this edge and select the make equal relation like this. Click OK. Now exit the sketch. And then we'll extract the core. This looks fine to me. You just click OK. So now we can make a section view to, to check how the core looks and it surely looks fine. Like this. We can we can change the color. Exit the section view and go to appearances. In solid bodies we have this little folder called core bodies. Let's take this red color and add to the core like this 
we can make a section view again to check how it looks and it looks good to get it separated back we can just delete this feature like this so now we have the, the cavities and the core that was it. I hope you liked my tutorial and I hope you will find it useful. Bye.